from Slidenerd, this is Weaves. Hello folks, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to compare two numbers. Often you're faced with different situations where you have to compare stuff, say who's bigger, who's smaller, if both are the same. You gotta do that, right? So let's go and see how this is done, right? The program will be something like this. You say output, you ask the user enter number one, he says five. Then you ask enter number two, he says four. You will tell him five is bigger than four. But if he says 4 is the first number and 4 is the second number, then you're gonna say both are the same. And there is a third case too, which is about smaller, in which he enters 4 first and 5 second. So now that you've seen what the output is, let's see how this is done. When you talk about comparisons, there are always cases, right? Like if you talk number 1 and number 2, there are three things which are possible, right? Now number 1 is bigger than number 2, number 1 is smaller than number 2, or both are equal. So what do you do if number 1 is bigger? Simply print. If it's bigger, number 1 is smaller, print that it is smaller, or print number 2 is bigger. If both are equal, print both are equal. So this is the program. And this we are going to do using something called if. So I'm going to go to NetBeans. I have an empty project over here, nothing inside. We need to take input from the user. And before that, we need to ask him to enter two numbers, right? So let's copy paste my stuff. So we say system.out.println, enter number 1. Copy paste this again, enter number 2, for simplicity's sake we'll take two integers, a comma b, give them initial values of 0, remember it's very important to initialize values, if you don't initialize Java is gonna give an error, so you have to give them some values. So now next take the input, buffered reader blah blah blah, alright now Java is gonna say it doesn't know what it means. We'll say import java.io.star take it in ok so now we're gonna say uh, reader.readline now this reader.readline is gonna give you a string right and of course it's saying that I io exception blah 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 remember if you read you need to throw an exception so it throws exception at the top let the compiler deal with the errors, you don't worry about it, that's why you write this statement. So now at this point, this is gonna return a string, we need to convert this to an integer. So we have a function called parse int, put this thing inside. Parse int is inside a class called integer. So you say integer.parse int, and this entire thing gives you the integer back which the user entered. So put it inside A, by saying this. Do the same thing for B. Okay, so at this point, we have the three numbers. Now, as I said, three things can happen. A is greater than B, A is less than B, and A is equals to B. Now, this is an important part. In Java, if you want to check if two numbers are equal, you don't say A equals B. You say A equals equals B, double equals, which means you ask the question, is A equals to B? So now, let's see. If A is greater than B, then we do something if a is less than b we do something if a equals equals b we do something right that's what this is all about so, so at this point all we have to do is print ln over here we'll say number one is bigger than number two copy paste this number one is a smaller right and both are same oops alright so now there are three print ln statements out of these three only one of them is gonna run at a time right so if you if you have the numbers let's test them out and see which one runs say control s shift f6 let's say enter number one i'll say 10 enter number two i'll say 12 number one is smaller than number two again shift f6 enter number one five enter number two two number one is bigger than number two shift f6 put both as four both are same so as you can see the stuff is working 
I hope you guys got something out of this. It's a pretty simple program. We love to hear from you guys. Comment. Let us know what you think about this. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be making a lot of vids. Have a nice day. See you later.